Another brick fan here with a polybag review. This is a Creator 3-in-1 set, German Shepherd. This is set 30578, was released in February 2021, has 76 pieces, no minifigures, and cost about $5 when it was released. As a 3-in-1 set, there's three different builds, but let's go ahead and just build up the main build here, and then we'll make sure we highlight all three of the builds. Here's the primary or main build for this set. As you can see, it's a good looking German Shepherd. He's quite tall, has a very big body. I like the way it's all built up. It has four, you know, the, all the legs move independently. There's no knees on, the, on this figure, but the toes or little feet, the ankles move, which gives it some pose ability. He has kind of two neck joints, so his face will move up and down, and then he can also move up and down here from kind of the front here, which is probably not anatomically correct, but allows you to do some nice pose ability. No rotation is available, so the head can only go this one direction. He has a little mouth with a tongue. The way you get the Frisbee in his mouth is you connect it up here. So it doesn't, he doesn't hold on to it if you just close the mouth. You actually have to snap this disc in to, that represents a frisbee. I like the bright orange color they used on that. Taking a look at the face here, I think it was done very nicely with a long nose. You got the pink here for his tongue, the eyes, and then his ears are done here in the back. And those can be moved and separated a little bit or perked up directly behind him, which can give some nice expressions. You can have his ears down on his sides or up around the top. Tail has two hinges, so it can go all the way down, up here. Again, no movement side to side, but it can go up and down in a pretty wide range of motion. The back legs are built up a little more than the front legs, as you can see, a little beefier back legs than the front legs, which are all just very straight. These have a little more curvature to them. He is pretty stable on those four legs, so he stands up pretty well. And it's overall a really good looking figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the alternate builds for this set. Here is the first alternate build for the German Shepherd polybag. It doesn't say what this alternate build is. I mean, it looks kind of nice. It could be a crab, I suppose. I'm going to go with a hermit crab is what it looks like to me. Although I suppose you could say it was a scorpion. My problem with that is the tail is just too wide for a scorpion. I suppose it could be a spider, but then, you know, you've only got the two eyes. Spiders generally have a lot more eyes. Does have eight, well, six legs and then two appendages up front. So these really appear to me to be representing some kind of claws. So that's why I'm going with the crab look. It is a good use of the parts and creates this nice look. Unfortunately, the legs are very close together because there's no way to kind of move these out and spread the legs out on the bottom. So that makes them kind of really tight together. So there's not a lot of posability and the claws or whatever the appendages up front here can move up and down. And then, you know, the legs move a little bit and the tail moves up and down. As an alternate build, I think it's fine. It gives you a different creature or to look at, insect, if you will, or crustacean, depending on, on your take on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other alternate build. Here's the second alternate build for this set. 
And as you can see, it's a snake. This one's a little more recognizable than that build we just looked at. The snake, I think, turned out pretty well. It's definitely designed as a cobra in my mind with this big hood back here, which is obviously a little bit blocky given the limited number of parts, but I think it turned out pretty well. Lots of articulation points, as you can see here, so we can have our snake slither along the ground or sit up higher here like this. There's some movement in the head as well. Once again, a very good use of the parts that came with this set. So I think they did a nice job in creating another model using a very limited number of parts. Let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this set. Now that you've seen all three builds, here's the primary build back again. And like I said before, I think this looks like a really good representation of a dog. The body is big and done with a, lots of different colors to kind of give the different variations of the fur that you would see in a German Shepherd. I like the fact that the ears can be moved around and that the head has quite a bit of up and down movement. So you can have him reach all the way down to pick up the Frisbee, for example. The legs can be moved and he can be posed fairly well. There's no knee joints, so you only have the two joints, right? The shoulders and then at the feet. So some positions might be a little difficult to do. But you can put the tail up in lots of different poses as well. So you get a really good looking German Shepherd here in this set. I think the uh, scorpion and snake are also okay. Probably the scorpion is my second favorite and the snake my least favorite, but they're all pretty good builds for a three in one set. And I appreciate how they can get so many models out of just a few pieces. There's only 76 pieces in this set. So the Lego designers are definitely very creative with these poly bag sets. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this poly bag. I'm gonna get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to my poly bag review playlist up here on the screen.